Hi kiddos, Mrs. Dune here. I am hopping on to read you a story. The story I have for you today is called Zin, 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 A Violin. The author of this story, remember the author is the person who writes the words. The author is Lloyd Moss. And the illustrator, remember if the author is who writes the words, the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. The illustrator is Marjorie Priceman. Kiddos, there is counting in this book, so if you start to notice the number pattern, go ahead and shout out the numbers with me while I read them. And parents, if you are watching along with your kiddo, there's also a lot of rhyming in this story. So this is a great story to pause as I'm reading and talk about all of the rhyming words you hear while you are listening to this story. So again, this is Zin, 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 a violin written by Lloyd Moss illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone, gliding, sliding, high notes go low, one trombone is playing solo. Next, a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song, it joins trombone no more alone. And one and two, oh, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy loops all coiled. Golden yellow joins its fellows. Two, now three, oh, what a trio. Now a mellow friend, the cello. Neck extended, bows a hello. End pin set upon the floor, it makes up a quartet. That's four. And soaring high and moving in with zin, 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 a violin. Stroking strings that come alive, now quintent. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Flute that sends our soul a shiver, flute that slender silver sliver, a place among the set it picks to make a young sextet, that's six. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick, a sleek black woody clarinet is number seven, now septet. Gleeful bleeding, sobbing pleading, through its throbbing double reading, oboe, please don't hesitate. Come make it an octate, that's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down, we're laughing soon. Here, grumpy, get your place in line and give us a nonette, that's nine. The harp descends with angel's wings, a heavens blend through magic strings. And when it joins the others, then behold, a chamber group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The orchestra comes in the hall. They're on the stage. We see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet, the trumpet, whom we've also met. The oboe, flute, and big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised and ready, now begin. The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore, it's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly, the music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they bowed and left the floor, if we clap real loud and shout, encore, they may come back and play once more. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night. That was Zin, 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 a violin. Once again, if you are still listening, go ahead and tell someone, a parent, an older sibling, even a stuffed animal, any of the instruments you remember from this story and talk about the numbers that you heard and what you liked about this story, the illustrations or the words. I will be back with more stories soon and I can't wait to see you all soon too. Bye.